Hey, this is Jake again with YouTube Auto Repair and making a video today about a 2009 Honda CRV that unfortunately got caught in the mid city flood. So, what I wanted to show you today is if this happens to your car, a Honda or any other car, there's some basic checks that anybody can do before you have to call a mechanic shop to uh, get your car started again. So, um, what what we did on here to start the checks is uh, opened up the intake, took this intake neck off and made sure there was no water in the intake, which there wasn't. Um, we were getting a clicking on the starter. So the next thing we did was pull the tire off and made sure the engine was freed up because uh, the starter may actually be engaging and the motor is locked from getting water in it. So we verified that and that was good. Um, so the last thing that we're uh, doing here is uh, we're just going to give a little charge on the battery, make sure um, the battery didn't go too low. This one actually sat for about um, for about a week, um, so I couldn't verify 100% um, the water that may or may not have gotten in it. Um, one of the other checks I would do if this had uh, first happened and some water did get in the intake is um, I would take the four spark plugs out, pull the coils out, um, and then just spin the motor over, blow, blow any of the water that's out of the cylinders out, put the spark plugs back in it, and then attempt to crank it. Um, that usually works in, uh, in a lot of cases. Um, sometimes water gets in the exhaust, you might have to uh, lift the car up, tilt the car in the front a little bit. You can use a floor jack like this one and uh, crank it, and the water will pour out the exhaust uh, while you're cranking it. So. Um, Usually, if that's the case, uh, you'll hear it trying to start. You can just keep turning it over, and uh, and it, it'll take maybe about two to three minutes of cranking is what i found to, to get it started again. And then just run it for a few minutes. Uh, uh, check your oil levels. Uh, make sure if you did get any water in uh, any of the fluids in the oil or the transmission, you're going to want to go ahead and change that too. So anyway, that's just a, a simple little tip that anybody can do. Uh, if you happen to be in a situation where your car got stuck in the water or, uh, you know, maybe water got up high enough to get up in the intake. So see if that helps you out. Uh, this is Jake with YouTube Auto Repair. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out some of my other uh, how-to videos. I uh, have over 100 videos on how to do anything auto repair. Thanks again for watching.